exciting. You're breaking my heart for that 256-man bracket, dude. I'm going to look oh, at it, yeah. and I'm going to be hunting for those American flags. <laughs> <laughs> going to be slim pick and scrub Cybot with the Rose and Razor RB. Creating that cloud of confusion that Rolento yep. loves to do. It's really interesting because Rolento is one of those characters that wants to be kinetic, always moving, never very obvious what he's doing. Rose, very controlled pace. Right. You know, although she is mobile because her back dash is so good and her slide is very good, right. you know, she still is very exact. She pretty much holds precise. her ground. She yeah. wants to hold uh -huh. her ground as much as possible. Right. Oh, but RV right now doing a great job at the start. He is definitely exacting his will more than Scrub Saibot is. And we saw that from Dogura as well, that regular knife into EX knife sequence. It's a really nice sequence. Ooh, misses his Nemo combo. Very, very safe attack sequence is coming out from RD. Putting himself at just the tip of his button, so even if they trade, usually not too, too much is going to happen Ooh. off of it. I always love it when, when a person knows their character so well that they have that timing. You saw him go for that knife and still got out the stand strong anti-air. Oh, walked away both of his orbs. Oh, but here he goes. Oh, he went in, he got the jump attack, but then he went in for the uh, close stand forward throw fake. And that's what gave uh, RB the opportunity to roll away. Flip out of there and get out of that situation. Yep, definitely one of uh, one of the most feared and hated moves in this version of uh, Street Fighter 4. Yep. It's Gotta make good use of it. It's one of those moves that you really have to know how to punish ahead of time. Right. Otherwise, you're going to have a lot of trouble against Rulento. Not just punish, it's really deal with it. Because on right. block, a lot of characters aren't punishing it, but you've got to play the position. Right. So you can right. stop him from doing it. You can hit him while he's doing it, right. uh, once it gets into the later portions of it. Or, you know, you can just punish it, and it's very slim uh, recovery at the end. This is the way you're going to have to deal with it in a lot of these characters. Mixing it up, RB. It's going to be safe here. But very smart from Cybot to just put up the orbs. Yep. Uses that little bit of delay from Alento. Oh, wow, oh, he gets through man. with the throw. Mixes Goes. it up. Oh, Whoa. went for the overhead. Oh, and Scrub Cybot's going to take it out. Yeah, pushing buttons. Just got him. Yep, worked out. Bl blocked the first hit. Then he says, uh, you know what, I don't want to see what you've got for me. Yeah, we've talked about it before, how that Rolento jump fierce is so good. And you can see it. So many of the, the Rolento matches, even a player character like Guile was respecting that meaty jump fierce. Such a scary button to have to deal with. Getting some mileage out of just good far normals. Scrub Saibot now with a good life lead, but he's jumping in. Trying to push it, I think. Ooh, see again that he knows the recovery. Gets to stand strong out in time for the anti-air. Good anti-air. Good block. Nice response now from Saibot. Okay, here we go. Saibot here looking very strong in a great position. Gotta be careful. There's a double ultra from RB, so he doesn't want to get too comfortable with those fireballs. Oh, sorry, it's ultra 2. Well, Same right. thing applies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Ultra two, go under fire. Got to watch for that cable. Very fast. Don't throw it, buddy. Don't throw it. He didn't throw it. Good stuff from Cybot. Ah, there it is. Cybot's gonna take the first game over RV from Taiwan. Great recognition where the match is and where the match is going. Is able to take it back. Yeah, like I said, it's. It's an interesting situation because Rolento kind of wants to stay kinetic, convince his opponent that crazy things are happening. Yeah. But, you know, if his opponent could remain calm like right. Scrub Saibot did, and you see almost a little bit of a smile on Scrub Saibot's face right now. Right. Kind of like, I've got him thinking about it. He's trying to think about switching to another character. Exactly. He knows he's kind of in a, a mental Ooh. advantage, but... Big counter hit there. The dash is in, and that's... You're not at a huge advantage after that with the dash. So it was a good grab from Saibot. Stand on the house, he gets the counter hit off of it. Uses that meter for the EX Fireball. Certainly gonna want that later on. Good anti-air there from both players, actually. Oh, comboed off of the knife from so far away. Good awareness. Put him up, put him up, buddy, put him up. Put him up. Just building some meter, zoning that space in front of him. Why doesn't he just do the super? I mean, the ultimate. Ultra 2, you yeah, mean? Uh, just activate. Oh, yeah, just put him up. Put him up. 
Yeah, and see, didn't get to use it. Yeah, Put you're up, right, buddy. you're right, you're Let right. Let me see your orbs. Just throw out the orbs and then get in there. He was <laughs> not in any kind of, like, punish range or anything. Right. So just, if he's going to sit there and build meter, then, hey, put your orbs up, and then you'll do him one better. Yeah, I even read that fireball situation. Perfect timing. That cloud of confusion is starting to activate here, like you said. Staying kinetic. But he's finding some ranges, putting some buttons out, stopping those rolls, not letting him get too comfortable flipping and rolling all around the screen. <laughs> oh boy, the mix up oh, right there! Oh, and another! Reset. Oh boy! And oh. that's enough to kill, wow! <laughs> Great stuff, fast. yeah, that was really nice. You saw right there, he got that big old combo in the middle of that reset into the air raid. That's right. And was able to link off of there. Smart stuff, knew that that first combo. You know, the first combo would have given him a position and such, but he figured that if his opponent wasn't ready for that overhead... Probably won't be. And I, I liked the uh, the setup that he went for there at the beginning of the combo. The mix-up was just a close short into the stinger, mm -hmm. but he'd been so offensive up to that point that uh, uh, Saibot wasn't really trying to press buttons at that point, right, which he right, had been yeah, doing yeah, yeah. a lot uh -huh, uh -huh. at this point. He, he could have interrupted that string, but uh, yeah, he was blocking for just a second there, and it opened him up. It's one of those situations where it's late in the match. You just get nervous, so you block, because you're like, I don't want to lose any more life. Nice play from Arby there. Slapped him around in the corner, let him bounce over his head, back into the position where he wants him. Arby's looking good. <laughs> oh, what a slim so But it didn't work out for oh, him. Perfectly placed, Very unfortunate, though. yeah. That was so sick. Tight on the position, and Arby's looking very smooth with this Rolento in the third round, third game. Zoning him out with that stand fierce. Yeah, it's, right now Scrub Saibot is having a really hard time trying to close that distance right there. That, that, that whole space that the knife is covering, oh, it's caught him by surprise. He'd been hopping back so often yep. that he was just like, okay, I need to get in here when I see him hop back. And then just a surprise on that roll. It's all one move. You just have to hit punch before you land to trigger the roll so he can keep it mixed up. The movement from Arby is so smooth. Now he turns on the offense. Patient from Saibot does, does uh, wait out the sequence. Yeah, and so now, now you can see, okay, Saibot's, he's a little bit flustered, a little yes, bit frustrated, yes, doesn't want to wait yeah, anymore. Uh -huh. You can see that the, the, the holes are showing up in the game now, and he's just being very frustrated, trying to get in there. Like you said, at this point in time, it would be a great idea just to step back and activate some orbs. Oh, okay, well, never mind. Put him up. He's got in there, yep. Now it's orb time. What's the mix-up? Yep, gonna pick a side. Doesn't really go for a lot of mix-up there, Good but he's just... block. Keeps him methodical. Oh, no, oh. just one! One gets through! Oh, oh didn't expect way it. To go. And not only that, but he gave him the counter hit just to make it even that much easier to link into yeah, the ultra. Take a sip of your water before you do the ultra input, and you still mm. got time. Oh, that's so painful. That's a that's a hard way to go down, yeah. especially after putting up a really good fight that last yeah. that last game. Nice so, rally from yeah. from Saiba. Just yeah, absolutely. couldn't get a, enough of a read on uh, RB for enough time. It's like you said, kinetic character, very slippery, very very hard to uh, apply your offense to. Yeah, I think it's kind of what you pointed out, right? I mean, when it first started, Scrub Saibot was playing very calm, and we talked about how she wants to control the pace, and that's what he was doing. But you can see towards the end that RB's kinetic pace started finally kicking in, mm -hmm. and, and, and Saibot just really got frustrated, and he just tried a little bit too hard yeah. to get in there yeah. instead of... We've seen this a lot from strong players. Even when they have life yeah. deficits, sometimes they'll turtle you know, and try to not let the opponent bait them into trying to get in. There's still 50 seconds left on the clock, you know. There's yeah, still time exactly, to play, so exactly. there's really no need for me to rush it because when I do, that's me playing into your hands. I mean, just basic rules of Street Fighter as well as most rules of engagement. There's a defender's right. advantage, however big or small it's going to be. That's and right. Just stop them when you get them flustered, when they start to uh, get reckless in their approach. Yeah, absolutely. 
And so upcoming next, we're going to have TG DTB Tuck versus Cyrix from Colombia. Yet another country being represented here on stream. Bogota, stand up. Everybody at home in Colombia, cheer for your boy. He's here on stream. You can see him. I, I believe he's the one on the left on the monitor right now. Probably texting to all of his boys in Colombia. Say, right I'm now. on stream. I'm on. I'm on stream. Check it out. Oh, watch it. Let's all get on. Let's let's.